it's an opera about two marriages, uh, one uh, that's about to begin and one that's on the rocks. It's also the, the story of one mad, action-packed day in the life of a stately home, uh, where you have masters, servants, a whole array of eccentric, memorable characters buzzing about this house, colliding with each other, experiencing these rather farcical, sometimes painful situations. We're actually both in our own lives engaged not to each other, yeah. to other people. <laughs> it's quite nice, you know, we've got that thing to share, like the excitement of getting yeah. married. So we've got know. the feeling of the characters yeah. in real life anyway. As every week's gone by, we've just kind of grown more comfortable with one another yeah, on stage. Exactly. Yeah. Our little personality traits as singers, as people, have started coming out, and as you grow more understanding of each other, I think yeah, you're more exactly. confident. And that plays against each other all the time, and I think our characters are actually quite similar to us in real life, yeah. at least the way we're doing them. The set for this production of Marriage of Figaro was made by the late, great Ralph Colter, who's a very important figure in British stage design. Instead of creating a heavy naturalistic set of the, the, the stately home, Ralph created these series of revolving walls uh, that give a, a more minimalist sense of where we are. Uh, they're sort of sem semi-abstract, but suggestive enough of place and atmosphere uh, to help the story along. Having integrity as far as the clarity of sound is particularly challenging for the violin. We just play a ton of notes and so just having the stamina to make it through I think is the biggest challenge for us. We're constantly playing lots of fast undercurrent passages and you can hear it throughout. The places that I most enjoy playing would be the finales to Acts 2 and Acts 4. But also, the overture is amazing to play. I want them to feel an empathy for every single member of the cast. There's an element of humanity in each character. That's the genius of De Ponte and Mozart together, mm. I think. You know, however convoluted the story gets, I want it to be relatable. The subtle characteristics of the different relationships on stage, I'd want people to look out for those, because they can be quite easily missed when they're such big characters. And also, just how wonderful a piece of musical drama it is.